What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. This should catch me up for the Invicta wars that was one behind uh, just with the busyness of the 1.0 versus 2.0 clan over the weekend. Uh, but uh, this should catch me up. So uh, got some good content to show you. Let's flip over to the war screen and see what happened. Uh, it was a victory for Invicta versus Invictus Titans, this level 7 clan. They gave it their best. They had a few decent bases in there. Uh, had a couple decent attacks, but nothing too special. Uh, just kind of scroll through our bases. They did get twos on all our tents. They did uh, have a couple bully attacks, maybe? Yep. <clears throat> a couple bully attacks for those threes. And in fact, their number one even dropped down and hit DWS, considering his base, I think, was hit six times prior to number one coming down and finishing him off. They did have a Town Hall 10 advantage. They had two extra Town Hall 10s, so that kind of kept them in it. Uh, but Invicta, $2.10s and $3.09s. So uh, these 20-man smaller wars can be a little tricky sometimes. There's definitely a lot less room for error. Sorry, I said take a quick sip of coffee there. Uh, so yeah, a few really good recaps or replays in here. Um, something I do want to take a moment to mention because I had started to sort of mention it in my last video uh, with the new Swarm recruits just killing it in Invicta. Um, down the road, I do want to do a video kind of elaborating on what I'm about to mention. I just want to talk about Swarm a bit and edify what Jamie is doing with the group down there. And she is doing a fantastic job. All these recruits we are getting in Invicta up from Swarm are ready to go. They're eager. They're getting three stars. They're planning their attacks. You know, I picture I picture Jamie like this drill sergeant down in down in Swarm, training our soldiers for boot camp. Just just absolutely, you know, getting them ready and. Uh, uh, and just helping them, you know, helping them set the stage for them to really step up and start to learn what arranged wars and, and what the F FPC wars are, are all about. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the 2.0 chain kind of works like this. Uh, we have 2.0, um, then we have Invicta, and then we have Swarm. So uh, Swarm is like, like I had mentioned, like our boot camp almost, right? Uh, they get the brand new fresh recruits, uh, Jamie and the co-leaders down there. Uh, what their goal is, is to prepare these guys uh, as best they can with the basics. So they're showing them all the tools, showing them, you know, getting them online and showing them how we, we plan and we sketch and we use Twidla and use these programs to, to get ourselves ready and plan our war attacks and really just, you know, really drill the basics into their heads. So that when they do get called up to Invicta, that's almost their next stage. And I, I really feel, and again, I don't want to put my words in my mouth here without you know, without Kev, but uh, Kev truly knows what he wants out of, the, out of the clans, but this is how I see it. And uh, once you get moved up from Swarm to Invicta, well, you're kind of going through a different training process in Invicta, because what Invicta does is we do uh, handfuls of arranged wars. We are facing more difficult clans that have more anti-three-star bases. So you know, it, it that is the next step I find of training where it's getting you ready for real tough matchups and getting you know a real real war mentality for for these tough wars that that you come across. Because when I first came to Invicta, my first handful of range wars, I had I never seen any any of these crazy bases that you run into. So, anyways, that's kind of how the chain works. And then and then once you you know once. Uh, you're you're maxed in, in Invicta and you you've learned everything you can and a spot opens up in 2.0 they call you up and, and it's it's go time, so that's kind of how the chain works you know uh, and uh, Swarm is feeding Invicta Invicta is feeding 2.0 um, it's just a constant rotation of players so we're constantly keeping fresh blood in the chains which is awesome uh, especially when I'm seeing these new guys coming up from Swarm and just killing it so Jamie great job down in Swarm. You, you're getting these guys more ready than we could ever ask for. Uh, so really appreciate it. Keep it up, girl. Uh, gonna just kind of jump into some of these, again, swarm replays of these three stars. Start off with Greg on number 10 here. I did like this replay, uh, even though he just brings a standard shattered goho. Uh, you look at this base, and really there's only 
there's only two spots where you can imagine double giant bombs and you can probably guess where those double giant bombs are so one being right beside the queen uh, greg goes ahead and exposes that because you can get a double giant bomb set the cc and the defensive archer queen uh, with really just one jump, two golems, and a handful of wizards and his heroes. So that is not good when you're doing a base design. Excuse me. Uh, if if you can get all of what I just mentioned with a jump, your heroes, a couple golems, that's not good. You do not want to give up your double giant bombs like that. Because now, Greg's got 32 hogs and 3 heals to basically deal with one double giant bomb set. And if you look over here, how difficult would it be to defuse this double giant bomb set? Well, if you send in six hogs, say, on this nine o'clock archer tower, where's the next spot they're going to go? Right to either the wizard tower or the mortar, and they're going to set off one of those bombs, probably even one at a time. So really easy to defuse. Uh, Greg recognizes that and just kills this like a boss. First heals down over this compartment. He's going to take all this out. He sends in a few more hogs here. He knows these are going to kind of get caught up in the core. So he does start to surgically send in just a handful. So he's got seven hogs he's, he's committed. He probably didn't need the heal there yet just because of the bomb going off. But he does trigger the one at a time. So the heal was a great idea. Boom, there goes the other bomb. The double giant bomb doesn't even kill one hog. So great job, Greg. Honestly, just read this base like a champ. Last compartment of defenses is going down. Things are looking fantastic. Gonna speed this up a touch. Hogs are about to turn on that king and just teach it a lesson. Down it goes. Hogs are on cleanup. Good job, Greg. Nice three star, bud. To three. Awesome. All right, moving down. I had number 12 here. I had to show Kriya's attack. I was going to show one of Kree's attacks uh, not too long ago, but he had a wall breaker fail. I didn't want to embarrass him like that. So he brings a max, sort of a max attack here, uh, like a boss. Shattered entry over at this kind of 3, 4 o'clock uh, location. Uses the earthquake to really open up a huge chunk of this. Um, just gets that corner wall piece. Unfortunately, that golem doesn't route in, but I believe once this cannon goes down, it starts moving. Oh, moves up to the up to the mortar. No big deal. It's gonna stand there, and it's gonna beat on that wall for probably the remainder of the raid. But it doesn't matter. Poison's down. CC is getting taken care of. Queen's in there uh, helping out. CC troops are now dead. Defensive queen is now dead. Uh, so good. Air air attack has commenced. Sent in two lava hounds on this first air defense. One is about to burst. There it is. Uh, loons are already on top of it. Air defense is down. Crossbow's about to go down. He's one more hit. Oh, just a sliver of health on that crossbow. Uh, other lava hounds now about to burst. He's got one more full lava hound on that remaining air defense, but the loons are already on top of it. He's sending in loons pretty much one, two per each defense on the outside. Now the air defenses are pretty much all down. As soon as this goes down, I think this lava hound bursts at the exact right moment. Yep, there it goes. Air defense is down. Queen finishes it off. It's clean up from this point. Good job, Korea. Very nice attack. Well done. That earthquake almost got you. Almost got you on that corner. That's your three star. All right. Uh, number 14, Cad. Making the highlight reel again. I like Cad's little drag swap here. So... Not a terrible base. No, definitely, it's not a symmetrical base. At least we'll give it that. Um, drops a little drag swap here, though. Nice and easy. The queen's going to step out and engage. Boom. Two drags take care of that queen in just a second. One more breath of fire, and it's down. So queen's taken care of. He sends in a shattered entry at the 9 o'clock spot here. Sprinkles in a few hogs into this uh, queen chamber. Help this dragon out just a bit because the dragon's doing some tanking. Knight like I like the trade off for the hogs there. You'll get both air, uh, both archer towers. Poison's down a little off on that poison and completely missed the dragon and the balloon. But the queen's in there taking care of them, so not a big deal. Dragon is down. Queen's gonna finish off that balloon in one sec. Things are looking great at this point. Cad sends in his hogs now. The rest of them or most of them from the 12 o'clock position. Just gonna get a heal down over this top compartment. Looking good at this point. Not really too many bomb locations you got to worry about. I think down by this Tesla might be one. 
Um, but really not a hell of a lot to worry about on this base. The Hogs are just going to continue working through with zero danger of, a, of, of anything. They're going to be under heels the entire time. Already got cleanup wizards. Good job on the on the quickness of those cleanup wizards. It's got one down here working on a wall. Apparently the wall is closer than the storage is. But you know the AI in this game sometimes. Air defense going down. Crossbow is about to go down. Just have a Tesla and a wizard tower remaining. And it is clean up. Great attack, Cad. Sorry, apparently my daughter doesn't like my commentating, as you guys can hear. <laughs> nice three-star, Cad. Good job, buddy. Okay, moving down. I think I had number... Just right one more down. Yeah, Peter, again. These swarm guys, just killing it. I love it. So Peter brings a bit of a queen walk here. Three healers down with this queen. Queen uh, creates the funnel with his wizard just in time there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, queen's going to kind of just move up into this section uh, and really just basically take out this whole bottom area. No super danger for his queen. You know, 22 queen can handle most of that, no problem. Uh, wizard tower is going to go down. She's going to lock onto this uh, elixir storage. Takes her time a little bit here. Walk is continuing to go good. As soon as this archer tower goes down, it's going to yank her all the way up this way. Something you got to plan for when you're doing queen walks is what is within your queen's vision? Where Where is she going to go next? So Peter recognizes this and really can tell that his queen is just going to start walking all the way up here. And it really has no danger of ever being within three point defenses. That crossbow is out of range. So completely safe queen walk. Like really not the greatest base design. Completely symmetrical. All. Is that completely symmetrical? Yeah, it is. Uh, so, you know, Peter just takes this down like a champ. He's going to meet up, uh, meet the queen up now with the kill squad. Sends in a shattered entry just from this 2-3 o'clock position. Opens up the wall. Golems are going to go in. Creates a funnel at the top there with the wizards. Things are looking good. King's going to go in as soon as the CC gets uh, taken out of the CC. Maybe not. A little early on that king, I think. Probably could have waited because of that storage being there. But here comes the CC. It's going to lock right onto that lead golem, which is good. Uh, he's got two wizards, queen in there. Rage goes down. Healers are even under the rage. So this kill squad is looking solid because all the CC's down out there in the core doing work. He's going to send in a sprinkle of hogs from the 12 to the almost 9 o'clock position, really. Just kind of almost spams them all across like an Asian wall. Uh, heal goes down. Bombs go off one at a time. Very poor bomb locations. They're all triggerable separately. Peter recognizes that and just goes right in. No problems. Has one more heal for this bottom section. And it is about to go down there. It is oh, a little late on that heal. <laughs> Very late on that heal. Or does he just want to swag heal it? He didn't need the heal. Who needs heals? <laughs> Would have had quite a few more hogs with more health, but... <laughs> Peter with the swag heel drops it in the middle well done buddy good attack cool so I'm going to show you one more Burt Dog Burt Dog is not quite as new to Invicta as uh, you know Peter and Cad and Greg however Burt is also a swarm call up and has just been killing it again killing it for us uh, great great addition to Invicta we're happy to have him Showing his little uh, stone, is it stone? Oh, sorry, shattered Lalo he brings here. Just basically going to create a funnel, open up this wall. Earthquake has opened up all these defenses. Uh, this is actually, sorry, max attack, which is great. Um, he's got high level heroes, which makes this a heck of a lot easier. You know, the 24 king, 25 queen really makes a difference. Here comes up the CC. Poison's going to go down, take care of that stuff, no problem. Almost all of it is poisonable. Rage goes down. Everything's basically just going to go down slowly but surely. He really wants to get the king in of that queen. He wants to get as many of these air defenses as he can. If he can get all three, that'll be great. Two are already down. Really just kind of wants to make a stretch for this back one. A little worried about this queen, but she's already got that question mark. So you know any second she's going to step out and attack this king. I can't believe she is not attacking this king right there. There we go. Attacks the king. King goes in. Takes care of that defensive queen like a boss. 
Oh, Golems almost get that last air defense. Does it go down? Yeah, it goes down to the explosion. So only one air defense remaining and a bunch of loons and a la two Lava Hounds. Really, this base doesn't stand a chance. So good spread on those Lava, uh, lava Hounds, Bert. Uh, gets just drops them from the other side of the map soaks up all the trap all the defenses loons are basically going to be right on top of this air defense by the time this uh, hound goes down and hopefully it does go down because it looks like it's going to pop at the exact right time gets a couple more hits one more hit there we go perfect timing on that hound busting you couldn't have asked for more perfect timing right as everything goes down he has every pop from that from that hound up doing cleanup so wizards at the top doing cleanup Queen at the bottom doing cleanup on those storages. Bert just killed it, man. Great attack, buddy. Love watching this one. Keep it up. All right, so good war. Uh, nice short one. Uh, obviously, it was a smaller war because a lot of the guys, uh, there's a handful of guys from Invicta up helping 2.0 versus 1.0 war. So way, way to hold down the fort, guys, while we are all gone. Um that should about do it for me. I'm now caught up on the Invicta recap, so that makes me feel better. Uh, got a lot of content coming your way soon, guys. Uh, Labs is just going to get flooded with videos. DWS is doing a fantastic job with the Hog Rider series. It's getting a lot of exposure. Uh, I know your clans are really, uh, really trying to get on the wait list for that. So, guys, go fill out the application. Um, and we will hopefully be able to come visit your clan and get a little bit of exposure because those videos seem to be very popular. And... Yeah, I know. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's getting mad at me. So I'm going to conclude this video. <clears throat> that about does it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you guys bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.